Hey everyone, in the Piper M350, just gonna show you the startup procedure. Pretty straightforward. We got a bunch of switches and checklists that we go through, and uh, we'll go through those now. It's a new airplane to me. It's just got uh, about 120 hours on it, so getting used to where things should be, but still use the uh, checklist to make sure that we've got everything before we go. So first thing we're gonna do is fire up the battery master. We're gonna make sure that our backup instruments will work here. Everything looks good there. You can see the primary flight display of the G1000 is firing up. I haven't thrown the avionics power on, which will power the additional two panels, but we don't do that until the airplane started. On our way to Phoenix today, beautiful weather. Couldn't ask for better. A little bit of cloud down in Phoenix, but uh, we're going to Great Falls, checking with customs. And uh, from there, we're, once we're cleared, we can go wherever we want. So we'll probably stop at Delta for some fuel, and then uh, into Phoenix as our final destination. Backup instruments work fine. So full throttle, full mixture. You can see the fuel flow. We're just going to prime the engine with a little bit of fuel so it gets started a little easier. Eight and a half gallons per hour showing back down. Alternators on, legs on. Take a look around. Quarter throttle and start. Terrain. System test. Okay. Alright, now that we've got that started, the Avionics Master is on. Panels to fire up here. Check all my data. Dates are all up to date. Uh, obstacles, terrain, charts are up to date. <laughs> from the cast messages so we're going to uh, just set up our G1000 for our flight here pretty straightforward flight we can see it here got cooking lake to the left ridge VOR and uh, to the cut bank VOR, which is across the border. Field traffic 122, air tractor Delta Delta X3. This pass into the south of Doe Field, heading northeast bound to Vegreville area, 3,500 feet, or about uh, five miles south of Doe Field. That's uh, 232. All right, take off flaps 10 degrees. Let's go flight plan. Cooking Lake, we're going to YQO. Then into KG TF. Great Falls. Turn away traffic, set to 95, Gulf Foster Echo Victory is. Uh, Zoom out, make sure the map looks. Zero, any conflicting Gulf Foster Echo Victory. Good. We haven't put anything in correctly. Looks good. Alright, we're going to set the elevation for the field elevation, seeing as we don't have a METAR weather here at this airport. So we'll set that to. You. 430. Rolling on, uh, one zero right turn. Set the backup barometer to the same. 3006. Target altitude today is 1700. We're going to set it to 4500, which keeps us at a class C before uh, we get our clearance. And uh, our autopilot panel is up here. So we're going to set it on a heading mode for our departure. And uh, flight level control, which has us climbing at a specific speed. 
is the safest way to do it so that we don't stall our airplane. So I'm going to set it for 105. I'll activate it after we're clear of obstacles. On departure. So that's good. Check all our autopilot strip in the top here. Heading set flight level control 105. Good. Uh, we've got Cooking Lake Traffic. Altitude set at 4500. Altitude set at 4500. And we'll taxi out. Do our run up. Alright, taxiways are clear. Coming up to Charlie, I'll make a call. Let's see what the active is here. It's like a direct crosswind across a runway, so it's really my choice. So I'm going to take 1 0 for departure. Looking like traffic, uh, Fox Charlie Romeo Delta November on the ground, taxing Charlie to uh, the run up area for 1 0. Cooking like Romeo Delta November. Parking brake on. Engine page up to 2000. Do a quick engine run up. Test a few things here. All right, let's make check left. Looks good. Make check right. Looks good. Alternator test. I'll usually just throw in the pedo heat, which draws quite a bit of energy. You can see that the alternators will kick in. Check. Do prop feather. Make sure the prop governor is working okay. Three of those. Those are good. Go back to the mixture and see if the fuel flow gauge decreases. That's good. Everything in the green, oil pressure, oil temperature, it's climbing, which is good. And we'll pull her back to idle. Make sure everything is running okay. Just gonna use my checklist to reference uh, anything that I've missed. Cooking Lake traffic, Cessna 172, Golf Victor Charlie Romeo is crossing midfield north to south to join a left downwind. And Cooking Lake traffic, are you taking left downwind for a 2-8? That's affirmative. Thanks. Alright, everything looks good here. Someone coming in on the opposite end of the runway here. It's really favoring uh, either runway, uh, but uh, we'll taxi down to 2-8. Alright, crosswind from the left. Post final checks, everything's good. Computer heat on, air conditioning off, 10 degrees flaps. Alright, full power. Release brakes when turbos kick in, there they go. Up to 40 inches. Rotate just after 80 degrees, climb out at 90. Alright, 80 knots and then climb out at 90. Cooking Lake traffic, Victor Charlie Romeo is turning final for 2-8. Alright, 60. 70. And rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Pitch for 90. Flaps up. to 13, 1400 feet per minute. Nice cool day today. Good positive climb. I think Cooking Lake, uh, Romeo Delta November is off 28. Left hand turnout, switching over to Terminal Cooking Lake, Romeo Delta November. All right, turn left. Back to 
through maps here. See the airspace here is straight ahead of me. That's 40, 4,600 feet. So we stay away from that or below it. But uh, I'm gonna engage autopilot here for 105. And pull my power back to 35. And adjust my fuel flow to 32. Check of my uh, cruise climb checklist here, 35, 32, oh, speed, 125 for cruise climb, clear of obstacles, you can do that, keep it nice and cool, go pump off, landing right off. Alright, it's going to switch over to terminal clearance, get my clearance for her. Filed IFR uh, all the way down to Country Advisory uh, 182 Echo Charlie. Great Falls today. Keep it easy. The northwest. And we're gonna be Good morning, Emmett Terminal, Fox Route, Romeo, Delta November. Uh, looking for IFR clearance, 17,000 feet to Great Falls this morning. Fox Route, Romeo, Delta November, Edmonton Terminal, good morning. Squawk code 2147 and climb uh, 7,000 feet far for now. All right, squawking 2147 and up to 7,000 for Romeo Delta November. Player 447, climb play level 210, proceed direct Andy. 210, direct Andy, and uh, no conflict with downwind traffic. Also, uh, PIREP, we had a uh, performance loss of 10 knots uh, through about 400 feet on departure. Player 447, thanks. I'm just going to go to the left a bit here and... Foxtrot, Romeo Delta, the member is cleared to Great Falls by present position. Direct to left, bridge BOR, flight plan route. Climb 17000. Alright, uh, Romeo Delta, November is cleared to uh, Great Falls via present position. Direct to left bridge, uh, then flight plan route for uh, Romeo Delta, November and up to 17000. Romeo Delta, November, roger, and you are identified at 5000. Cleared us to 17,000. Just going to replay that. Romeo, clearance. Foxtrot, Romeo Delta November is cleared to Great Falls by present position. Direct to left bridge BOR, flight plan route. Climb 17,000. All right, I can go direct to the left bridge BOR, activate navigation, and it's uh, going to maintain the climb at 125 knots. I have it set to 130, keeps it a little cooler. It's good. And uh, when we get to our cruise altitude, we'll adjust the RPM, pull back the uh, mixture a bit for efficiency, and the rest is easy, all the way to Great Falls. That's it. That's the uh, startup, the uh, departure out of Cooking Lake, and uh, we'll see if we can do that again in Great Falls.